Sorry, Chief Justice Wesie Nini Abua has gone into self-isolation for 14 days upon the advice of his doctors in compliance with COVID-19 protocols. A secular from the Judicial Service reads, um, Respectfully, his lordship, the Chief Justice, has from July 6, 2020, on advice of his doctors, embarked on a 14-day self-isolation in compliance with COVID-19 protocols. During this period, his lordship will be working from the Chief Justice's official residence at Cantonment, Accra, and is signed by Cynthia Pamela Ado. Joseph Akable is our court correspondent and he joins me via Zoom for more. Joseph, we understand the Supreme Court has suspended cases. How true is that? And so a number of cases were affected starting from today and uh, that led to adjournments. Some of them were adjourned indefinitely while others were adjourned to as far back as July 22. While the adjournment was being carried out, no specific reasons were stated in open court except that the lawyers and the parties in this case who had come to court were just told that their cases have been adjourned indefinitely and others were informed that the cases have been adjourned uh, to July 22. And the information from the circulars you read out states that the Chief Justice will be working from his residence at Cantonments. Uh, the question remains as to how he will be performing those functions because we know that as Chief Justice he performs two functions. The first is that he is a judge of the Supreme Court, and the second being administrative functions as head of the justice administration system. And so we know that it, he can, the administrative functions has to do with assigning cases and paneling judges to hear a case. Those are functions that could be performed remotely, but it remains to be seen whether he will be sitting on cases as he is required to do as a judge. And the interesting thing is that each time the chief justice sits, he presides over the panel. And so as to whether he will be doing so remotely or using technology, are all issues that we are looking out for. But the confirmed information we can put out this evening is that a number of cases largely supposed to be taking place this week were agent with no official reasons given. Our sources also tell us that a number of staff within the judicial service have tested positive and have since been asked to isolate. Not something that's happened quite recently, at least uh, since the outbreak happened in Ghana, some staff have tested positive over the period and have been asked to isolate. And so the judicial service and the justice administration system remains one of those agencies that have been great, greatly hit by this pandemic, just like many others as well, Aisha. Joseph Akable is our court correspondent. With some updates from the court, uh, we're told that some cases have been adjourned. We'll be following that and bring you updates. <laughs>